we've been here first century. We anticipate being here for at least another 50, maybe 100 years beyond that. Kennecott Copper is looking to stick around a little longer than initially planned, and that could mean more digging. Good evening. Thanks for being with us for 2 News at 5 in HD. Kennecott, Kennecott Copper says it's here to stay. As it stands, the company's mining permit expires in 11 years. But Kennecott says it has no plans to shut down and is working to extend those permits. Dan Resco live outside the mine. Dan, what kind of extension are they working to get? Well, Shana, right now, if it was up to Kennecott Copper, of course, they would get another 100 years or more, but they have to take it one step at a time. In order to keep mining the way that they are, they can only get an extension for about another 20 to 30 years. That's what they're going after right now. And they believe Utah can't afford to live without them. What is that? Wow. They come from all over the world, all wanting to see this three quarter of a mile deep hole in the Ochre Mountain Range big enough that it can actually be seen from space. It's very awe-inspiring. I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. The Bingham Canyon mine, the largest copper mine in the U.S., has been here for 107 years. It produces 300,000 tons of copper a year, which is 25% of the U.S. production. And now Kennecott Copper is rolling out its plans to extend its mining from 2021 to 2034. Well, I believe Utah would want us to stay because we're a very powerful economic engine. Here's what Kennecott Copper wants to do over the next 30 years. They want to dig 1,000 feet into that back wall there, and then they want to go another 300 feet deep. It will actually take seven years of digging before they can get to the ore that they need. So we'll have to move more material, which means more trucks. We'll have to crush more material. We'll have to mill more material. Currently, the mining permits expire in 2021, which means operations would gradually start to shut down in 2016. The mine's president says that would be disastrous to the state of Utah. 2,000 people would lose their jobs, and a billion dollars in revenue a year would be lost. The best economic choice for us and for the community is to extend the mine life. But there are some 70 permits that have to be approved, including a commitment to clean up the environment. Kennecott points to the daybreak area to show that they do care. Our employees, including myself and the other 2,400 people, live in this community, and we want it to be a vibrant community. for. So there's basically three things that have to happen here in order for them to be able to stay here. First of all, they need to get uh, approval from their board of directors parent company, that's Rio Tinto. Then they must have those permits approved, and also they must have community support. They plan to be able to get out in the community roll out their plans and get community reaction from that. That could take a couple years and we're talking about in order to be able to get all that in order there. Sean, I'm back to you. All right, keep us posted, Dan. All right. Thank you.